Welcome to a place of adventure and mystery, a place of fantasy, that you must nice and come alive. It's time to open the gates to a new strange world. Chapter 6, Race for the Dragon. After the dust settled, the box was gone. Is everyone okay? I said as I start as I stand up and make the dust off my clothes. I'm okay, just a little bit soft, said Laura. She got up herself and my vision was clear. And that my vision was clear. The entrance was blocked by giant rocks and stone. By the sheer size of the rocks, there was no way to hold them up. We had to find another way out. I said to Laura, she started walking deeper into the cave. The further we go, to, the colder it gets. The only wolf came from the horses that lit, lit up our path in front of us. There was loads of holes and tunnels in the walls, but all of them was too small for us. Continue further still, to the sound of rushing water came from the distance. The cave opened up to a large underground river that was filled with lots of broken down things. On the left side of the wall was a waterfall that most likely came from the outside. Along the side of the river was a small two person robo. Well, this might do, as me and Lord both climbed into the robo. We need to find an exit," said Laura as she grabs the oars. This boat and tip from the outside. This boat is the best way to find an exit. I said as we started rowing the boat out of the cave. When we came out of the cave, the goblin fort seems to look the same as we entered the cave. Driving can sprinting out of the forest with some goblin spells. Good, you made it out of the cave. I lost my only friends. So Tavern is me Laura climb out of the boat. We have to find the dragon before Roberto finds it. Says Laura in a scared tone. Where can we find the giant fire breathing lizard at? I said in a sarcastic tone. Maybe we can, maybe we can follow the path of destruction. The tavern as we all ran back to the forest. The fragment in the forest turned into freshly charred black by the dragon's rage. Me and Lord Draven and the goblins followed the scorched black path to a large cliff. This cliff had no way through, around or above. This is the dragon's edge. Place where dragons are born," said Laura, in, in amazement of the sheer beauty of such a place. If we're supposed to save the dragon, how can we get up there? I said in a confused tone. Keith, the leader of goblin, muttered some words to the other goblins. The goblins grabbed three large stones and tossed them three small geysers. The lead goblin grabbed a jagged rock and stabbed into the ground. A small crack appeared in the ground that launched the three stones to form a staircase to the top of Dragon's Head. Me and Lauren Traven all hopped to the top to where the giant bright red fire breathing dragon was. But something was different with the dragon. The dragon wasn't enraged, but instead was calm, especially when it's next to, to its eggs. It felt like the dragon fell under a spell. My theory was confirmed when I sensed the presence of cruelty in the form of Rob Roberto. You monster! Every creature is supposed to have free will! Said Laura as he ran into a wall of magic. Princess, do you think the best way to capture a beast of this magnitude is with a spell? <laughs> Said Roberto with with a cunning smile. I would never believe in your wicked ways, said Allure in a serious tone. Well, you still have three other chances to stop me and prevent my master's plan. <laughs> said Roberto. As he climbed on the dragon, 
took off to the skies as all hope was lost to a hatch open that revealed a baby dragon that ran straight to travel. We have to find the three other the three other items before Roberto gets it, gets them. If he does, it could spell doom for the world. So Elor, me and Lord said goodbye to Tavern, the baby dragon, and the goblins, and climbed down the other side of the edge. Elor, who do you, Elor, who, who do you think Roboto's master is? I asked. Who knows? All I care about is getting three other items of legend. Allura, so we started walking away from the dragon's head. Maybe sooner or later we will find out who the master really is. Dun dun dun! <laughs>